everyone, this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Photography and Actions, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Half Light Collection Actions to enhance a photograph that's shot backlit and to give it some pizzazz with a little bit of light leak color infused into it. So let's look at this is uh, the edit that we're going for, and this is where the image began. So we will be going from this to this with just the half light actions. You can learn more about my actions at michellecanephotography.com. All right, so you can see in the layers palette here that I've played a variety of actions from the half light, and I'm just going to take these actions that I've played and take them to the trash and we'll start fresh. So with the half light collection, a good place to start is the contrast or the base action actions in order to give yourself some boost in color, in clarity, in sharpness, in um, overall contrast, and get yourself kind of what I call a base action going so that you can edit on top of it and add your film mask actions, your light leaks, and your color tones. So the action that I played here is from the Make Richer base action set, and it's called Aftermath. And these Make Richer actions will darken up things a little bit and when it plays, it defaults to 70%. I'm going to up that all the way to 100. And I'm going to open this uh, action group up. And I'm just going to adjust a couple of the layers inside. So I'm going to the Aftermath Punch layer. And I'm taking it from 70 up to about 85%. So a little bit punchier look there. And I'm going to pick the Boost layer here. And it presets to 30. And we're just going to pull that up to about 45 and that gives us a little bit of extra punch in there. And that's all I'm going to adjust in this. There are multiple layers inside of any of the um, base actions that you can adjust. There's fades, darkness, lightness, contrast, clarity, all of those kinds of things. So you'll want to open the action grouping up and adjust it to your needs. So I'm going to close the aftermath down before I play another action. And on top of this, I want to add in just a little bit of a um, pink touch to the picture and so I'm going to go down to my color tones and in the color tones I'm going to play Charming. Charming I'm going to take down a little bit to about 10%. We don't want a whole lot. We just want a slight pink, um, very sweet touch to it. Charming gives an overall pink haze color tone to the picture. And next I want to play the action called Verve and this is one of the contrast actions and Verve gives just a very nice and basic um, punch to the picture. It will give you a little stop message that you can read and continue through. And Verve plays at 50%. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that at 50%. That looks pretty good to me. Um, it adds a little bit of extra pop into the picture. If we click it on and off, you'll see the clarity and the contrast that comes into the picture and also the boost of the color in the steps that she's standing on there. So what I'm seeing here now is that we've got some yellow that's happening, unwanted yellow, uh, just basically from shooting it back, backlit. And I'm going to go ahead and remedy that by playing an action in the white balance fixes. And it is called <clears throat> Yank the Yellow. And Yank the Yellow it plays at 50% opacity. I'm just going to take all that up to 100. And you can see it's removed a lot of yellow from the picture but we don't want it everywhere. I just want it on our face. So I'm going to Command or Control I to invert that layer mask. And then just using a white brush, about a 50% opacity brush, I'm just going to paint it on the yellow where I see it's a little too much here. If there's any other places where it's too much, I would just mask over that area as well. I see a little bit in her arms. Just take a little bit of that off and we're good there. Uh, the next thing I want to do that will really add the interest and the excitement to this picture is add in a light leak. Now light leaks can be used for a variety of different things. Uh, light leaks are great for adding in what we would traditionally think is a light leak, which is a strip of light that uh, hits the camera sensor and creates a colorful um, kind of splotch on the picture. Uh, light leaks can be seen as a bad thing, but in modern times it's seen as an artistic addition to a picture. Light leaks in my collections can also be used just to add in um, an overall color tone, um, a soft haze, a pastel coloring, and they're very customizable. You'll get a play message 
uh, stop message in there that'll give you some information on how to adjust them. And also in the 20 page uh, manual that comes with the half light collection, there's a good portion of it uh, dedicated to explaining how to adjust the light leak. So we're going to talk about that here in a minute. And the one I'm going to play is called Firelight. And once it plays, you can see immediately it's added in a yellow and a red light leak color. So if we look at it in the layers palette here, Firelight, we're going to just double click this little thumbnail and this is going to open up the gradient fill box and we'll be able to make adjustments here. Again, the manual will explain more about exactly how to do this, but um, I'll just do a quick overview right here. So we can see that the style is set to reflected. You can always change that. You can play with different looks, maybe diamond, maybe linear, um, different uh, styles will change up how the gradient is attached to the picture and I'm going to put it back to reflected and then the angle of course is the angle at which it comes into the picture so for your pictures you might want to adjust it and just change where it's placed. The scale is the size so the bigger it goes obviously the more spread out it is and the less we see it. The smaller it is the closer together the colors and the gradient are going to be. Um, you can also come in here and let me just reset this here. I'm going to replay it really quickly so we can reset it. <clears throat> if we double click it again, we need to have this open. Once it's open, you can actually come in here and just drag on the picture as long as you have your move tool selected, which your move tool is just this little arrow pointer right here. You can hit V on your keyboard to get it to the move tool, but we can move this all around and place it exactly where we need it in the picture. Um, and I'm just going to kind of keep it where it was originally, sort of kind of right in this area. And I'm going to say OK. And once we do that, if there's any unwanted light leak color somewhere in your picture, we just select the uh, <clears throat> layer mask here and grab the opposite color brush, so black. And we just begin to brush it out of the areas where we don't want the color. It's very, very simple and super customizable, like I said. So that's it. That's uh, all we need to do. Maybe just give it a little bit of sharpening. And there is one action that sharpens in the half light called micro sharp. And it's a very fine, simple sharpening, not too crazy, not overdone, just very fine. Uh, let's look at the before and the after. There's where we started. And here's where we end. If there's any additional um, changes that we need to make. If we need to come back to any of the layers, we've kept them in the layers palette. Maybe we want to increase verb, make it a little bit uh, stronger, a little bit more contrast, or maybe we want to come into aftermath after all this time and make some changes to any of those layers in there. You still have all of the actions played and layered one at a time in the layers palette, giving you uh, massive amounts of control and access to change anything uh, way into your edit. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to uh, play up a backlit image and add in some of the light leak effects in the half light collection. For more information about my Photoshop actions and the half light collection, please visit my website, michellecanephotography.com. Thanks for watching everyone and have a blessed day.